streaming services get a lot of shh. they get a lot of it they get a lot of poo poo thrown at them and you can understand why because they release so much garbage so fast that it's one it's hard to keep up with two the the amount of cost of money it costs to spread all your money across so many streaming services is annoying now me i'll usually if something comes out that i want to watch i'll buy a month of it and cancel immediately and watch what i want for a month and then i'll leave it until the next thing comes out now i've not really subscribed to anything of late uh, prime for reacher was the last one um and i was told by a friend that there's a show on disney plus that is really really good so i thought all right i'll go in there because i'm not a big big tv guy anyway but i thought i'll give it a go so i paid me 4.99 i've got a month for disney and i've just watched the first two episodes of this show go and i've got to say you know disney gets a lot of, a lot of crap a lot of crap for some of the for the stuff it releases it's star wars that's it's ruined the marvel universe that's just gone downhill completely and i've got to say you've got to give them praise for this i know it's fox but it's under the disney umbrella so at the end of the day it's still disney that's what i'm watching it on it's on disney plus and if you want people to subscribe this is the kind of stuff you should be making this is absolutely and i'm gonna swear fucking gorgeous i've not seen something like this in a long long time probably what game of thrones was probably the last thing that looked like this um the actors in it are sublime the british guy in it he's got a bit of a tom hardy thing going on um absolutely brilliant um the set design is amazing it is just gorgeous and it's the storytelling is not to put it it's really easy to follow and it's gruesome and some of the deaths in it are just unbelievable and that's all we're only in two two episodes in the third one comes out later today so i can't wait for that um i don't know how much money they've spent on it i don't know what we're going to get in the next eight episodes because if it goes anything by what i think it's going to go to it's going to get spectacular it really is and this was just a, sh a video just to say you need to go and watch this show it is absolutely fantastic beautiful gorgeous great storytelling great acting the time period is amazing anyway um I'm I'm just so happy that Disney have released something actually worth watching because they've not done that in a long time. They really haven't. And it's sad because if they did more stuff like this, same with other streaming services, Prime, they release Reacher. I paid for a month for that for that. That was amazing. Loved but loved all of that. But Prime have got more going on. They have like the boys and they have uh, Invincible. They have quite a few good um, things going on. Uh, Roadhouse comes out uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, so, you know, there's stuff that over there. Like, you can watch, they do release more. Prime does release more good stuff than any of the other streaming services, I find. They make better quality stuff. Um, Netflix. I don't even know what Netflix does. Once every blue moon, I'll get a Netflix subscription for a month. Random usually for some at random um but yeah shogun if i was going to give it a score on its first two episodes it's a definite 10 out of 10 and i would definitely give it a shot if you really want something good to watch i can't give it enough praise and well done disney you got something right for once now look to the future and keep it up you mags see you next one